By this point, you have probably heard about hashtag free Fortnite, the new trend that Fortnite is trying to start that they're pushing out to everyone that they have influence over. Now, today we're going to be giving a brief summary of what it is, what it means, and why they made it. Let's jump right into it. Let's start off by looking at the root cause of all of this drama. To start it off, Fortnite made a giant discount to V-Bucks in Fortnite, a 20% discount, which is honestly insane for their marketing team. But that is not the issue at hand here. Fortnite on mobile, on iOS, they cut Apple out of the transaction process when buying V-Bucks on mobile. Now, what I mean from this is basically whenever you make an in-app purchase on the iOS store or on a uh, Apple phone, then 30% of that transaction actually goes to Apple. Now, this is also after taxes and taxes are a decent bit. So, I mean, you're not really getting paid that much. Now, for Epic, this doesn't hurt them that much, but for smaller companies, it is actually quite a big issue. Issue. Now what Epic did is they engineered a way where they completely skip the middleman of Apple and they allow people to have direct purchases through Epic and they completely skip Apple. So the 30% take that Apple usually gets is completely negated here and Fortnite just gets 100% of that money. Now this obviously violates a ton of Apple's rules so they kick them off of the App Store and this is where the hashtag free Fortnite trend came from. Epic Games was prepared for this and immediately came out with their, you know, whole video thing, the 1984 remake. If you don't know what 1984 is, I suggest you search it up. It's basically a dystopian society. It's it's a book, but basically, in a quick summary, it's a dystopian society while everyone is forced into a mold, and basically what Fortnite did here is they had Bright Bomber be the one to break that mold, and they are portraying themselves as the Bright Bomber here. Now, everyone is forced into Apple's monopoly is what they're saying, and basically everyone is forced to pay this 30% tax on every transaction in the iOS store. Now, now, there are two sides to this argument and I don't want to get into which one I'm on. I, I don't really know which one I'm on because I don't want to get this too political. So on Apple's side of things, imagine this as a mall. Apple's app store on iOS is a mall and every app inside is a vendor that sells things. Now these vendors are forced to pay money to the mall. If these vendors stop paying money to the mall, the mall has every right to kick them out because the mall owns the place that they're actually selling their goods from. And if they're not paying the mall what they need to pay them, then they're allowed to kick them out. Now, what Fortnite is basically saying here is that Apple has too much of a monopoly on all of the malls across the world. Epic is saying that Apple is controlling too many apps and that people can't get enough money for themselves because of this insane 30% tax that Apple is taking out on them. Now, for on Apple's side of things, it looks completely completely fine because they're just a mall and they're just making their vendors pay the money. Now on Epic side of things, they see this 30% tax not as so much something that hurts them, but something that hurts smaller developers. Now, if you don't know, many smaller developers struggle with making money on the app store just because of this 30% tax, they can't get as much money as they would from their apps. So basically what Fortnite did is they made a lawsuit against Apple. Now what's honorary about this lawsuit is that they didn't actually make it so that they would get any money off of it. They're not seeking any financial compensation. Basically, they're just looking to reform the iOS app store and see what Apple can do to help out smaller creators in the future. So before you tweet hashtag free Fortnite, just know what it means, what it stands for, and why Epic has made it. I'm completely fine with you tweeting it out. I think honestly, Fortnite is doing a good thing here. They're trying to help out smaller creators that may be being taken advantage of by Apple and they're having too much money taken from them. But that being said, Apple is also giving them a platform to sell their apps off of. So what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Let's have a nice civil conversation about this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this summary helped you out. If it did, please consider leaving a like on the video and subscribing to the channel. Also, I stream daily on Twitch from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern time every single day. First link in the description. So if you guys want to go check that out, please consider dropping me a follow as it would help me out a ton. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.